Good morning and welcome to the Taz Morning Show. Taz Morning Show brought to you by Marcus Al Baja in association with Al Falad Hotel and Dofar Automotive. His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq will go on an official visit to Saudi Arabia today in response to an invitation from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. This is the first official state visit of His Majesty since taking over the reins. During the visit, discussions will cover all aspects of cooperation between the two countries with a view to upgrading bilateral relations and realizing the aspirations of the two people and achieving the objectives set in all fields. The discussions also aims at reaching results that serve common interests and establishing a more prosperous future for the two countries. The Ministry of Heritage and Tourism has directed hotel establishments to work at 50% of their capacity in the wake of the rising coronavirus cases in the country. In a decision issued, the ministry said the use of hotel facilities must be limited to in-house guests during the ban period with effective from July 16th until July 31st. The ministry has also excluded hotel and tourist establishments located in Mosandam Governorate from the closure decision. The ministry also said employees working in the hotel establishments must obtain a prior permit from their workplace to use during the closure period. Oman will not leave any individual from targeted categories without being vaccinated. The country's Minister of Health Addressing the Supreme Committee press conference, His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Al Saidi said there is a mechanism for expatriate vaccination. The Sultanate will not leave any individual from the targeted categories without being vaccinated. Moreover, the expatriates in Dofa Governorate who have not reserved the vaccine doses have been vaccinated, Al Saidi said. All passengers will be permitted to have a companion to drop or pick them from the airport provided they present a copy of the flight ticket and the relevant documents during the Eid al Adha full lockdown, National Airline Oman Air said. Passengers and companion must carry a printed copy of the travel tickets along with all applicable travel documents and valid ID in the event that you are asked to present them to the relevant authorities. Oman will impose a full lockdown during the Eid al Adha holidays due to the rise in coronavirus cases. Thank you for joining us in the TAS Morning Show. To get the latest updates, log on to theurabianstories.com.